Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I'm here to talk a little bit about writing with your preschooler, toddler, and baby. So the Every Child Ready to Read initiative outlines different skills and practices for children that will help them learn how to read more easily when the time comes. So parents, if your child is from birth to age five, the five practices that scientists have suggested are talking, singing, reading, writing, and playing. You talk, you sing, you read, you write, you play with your child every day, and this will help give them a stronger foundation upon which to build later on when they're learning to read. Of those five practices, things that I'm sure you're already doing, the one that gets the most questions is writing. How can I write with my child when my child is just a baby? How can I write with a child who's too young to read? Well, the answer is, in a nutshell, is that it's not just writing, it's all the different foundational skills that will lead to writing. So fine motor, using your fingers when you do itsy bitsy spider with your child and they get to use those same muscles that they'll use years later for writing with markers and crayons and pencils. You are writing, it's a form of writing, you are doing it, you're building those muscles and the coordination that's gonna be needed later on. Writing also doesn't have to result in a word. It can be a picture, a coloring page. If you give your child crayons and a blank piece of paper and they make something, that also is a form of writing. They're practicing holding the crayon. They're practicing making marks on the page. And best of all, they're aware that those marks have meaning, just like text. It means something. There are different books that you can use to build writing skills, even if the books are not made to be written in. It doesn't have to be a journal to be something that children can write. This book, for example, I Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont, is about a boy who paints himself. While you read this with your child, you can give him or her a paintbrush. You can ask your kids to paint on themselves while they read. It's just pretend, but again, it's practice for holding, and it's an affirmation that what you do make, what marks you make, have meaning. Another good book for this is Don't Push the Button by Bill Cotter. It has a button. It's not actually a button, it's a picture of a button, but it means a button. And you get fine motor for pushing it as the story goes on, and when you push the button, fun things happen. So there are a variety of ways where you can write with your child without actually writing. And finally, don't discount actual writing. If you write your child's name on their artwork, if you give them name tags, if you write their name inside their book, then you are, again, modeling good writing behavior for your child. Maybe they're too young to write, but they see that you do it. They see it has meaning. So please, read and write and have fun. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next time.